going to need a motion to add Ms. Jamie Bowden to the agenda, and we'll do it in that spot. We'll do it in the number six spot, and we'll give her time to speak, and I believe that's about, um, yes, the only change we would need to make. All right, do I hear a motion? Motion's made. Motion's been made. Do I hear a second? Second's been made. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? You'll be at the number six spot, man. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> first thing we have on the agenda tonight is the consent agenda. Uh, you've all read your packets. Do I hear a motion to approve the consent agenda for tonight? <coughs> motion. Motion's been made. I hear a second. Second. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Any questions? Okay. So moved. Now we're at the public forum. Is there anyone that's not on the agenda tonight that needs to speak about anything? I don't think we have anybody signed up. Okay. We will move uh, straight to number five then. Um, resolution for Title VI policy. If you'll look in your packet. And this, this. Tammy, would you like to. Uh, this comes from the. Um, Civil, civil Affairs, Civil Rights uh, Department with the DOT. Anyone receiving federal financial assistance um, is asked to have a Title VI policy, and um, that is what this is. There's a resolution to um, adopt the policy, and here is the non-discrimination non policy statement that we're asked to adopt. That's just for our records, since we um, may get FEMA money and things like that. Anybody that gets federal money is asked to have that on file. Any questions or comments about that? If you <coughs> look over that, read that. Okay. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve the resolution? Mm -hmm. Okay. The motion has been made. Do I hear a second? Yeah, second. 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 All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Discussion? Okay. So moved. While we've got that, let me uh, All right. Next thing we have on the agenda. Jamie Bowden, would you like to speak? Yes, sir. Right. I'm Jamie right. Bowden, and I, first of all, I'd like to thank y'all for having me tonight and approving my agenda. I'm, I'm, I mean, approving me on the agenda. But I'm here because um, I'm speaking on behalf of my mother and my sister. We live here in Candor over at 176 Cammy Drive, was where she formerly lived at. And our house was burned down in 2017. And so what ended up happening, she has been bouncing from house to house ever since this. And she is homeless. She has actually been sleeping in her car ever since the house burned down. And Joe, my brother, he got placed into the rehabilitation center since the house burned down. And so I have been working with them these last eight months. And then within these eight months, I have been able to work with Clayton's Homes who approved them for a home, but it is not a double wide. And I understand here in Canada that we are supposed to have a double wide, but um, they are not going to get approved for anything other than a double wide, considering their income is disability. And that disability, they have had it for over 20 years, so we do not expect that to change. So we are asking for a modification of the ordinance so that they can come in with their single wide. And the company is going to work with us to um, make sure that they have masonry underpinning. They're going to make sure that the septic is up to date, the septic tank, and that the well is up to date. And so we just need approval. We already have been approved. They approved them for fifty-four thousand dollars. They would not get approved for a single. I mean, a double wide. And we went to probably like four other places, and those other places approved them for a single wide. The first place approved them for twenty-nine thousand. The second place approved them for forty-four thousand. And this one in Ashburg approved them for fifty-four thousand. So we are trying to get them a home. Currently, she's living with my daughter. And my daughter has five children and a husband, 
And it's just, it's getting to the point now where they don't want to push her out because she has nowhere else to go except a nursing home, and she's in good health. So we don't think that she should go to a nursing home because her house burned down. I mean, any, anything can happen to anybody at any time. Right, right. I, I've, uh, I understand your circumstances there. That's, that's some difficult things to have to go through. I know with your, your home burning and all that, uh, the clerk had made me aware of this, and, and we looked into this. And because um, I think, believe you, it came up and talked to her. Um, Mrs. Bowden. Mrs. Bowden. Right. She had came up and spoke with her previously. Mm -hmm. So we went back and we've done some research, and this zoning ordinance that is you're speaking to right. is something that was adopted by the town of Canada, the board of commissioners, many years ago. Mm -hmm. This was adopted probably back in the I think that was yeah. And and what happened then was in that zoning ordinance it was put into the zoning ordinance that any mobile home, single wide mobile homes that was here would be able to stay and would be grandfathered in. Uh -huh. If those single wides were ever moved out, then a single wide could not go back in to replace it. And that's in all the zoning. Um so, I think in your case, where that home was, was burned, if it's over 60% damaged, then if it would have been under under 40% under 40. Under 40 damaged, then you would have been able to build, build that back or fix it or do you whatever. You would have been able to repair that within you, 24 months. You would have been uh -huh. able to repair that. Right. But right now, as it sits right now, the, the problem that we have with that, and I wish we could help you out with that, can't do anything tonight, but listen and talk and try to help you out all we can. Um, the, the, the zoning would have to be changed, the zoning ordinance. You know, you understand what I'm saying? We would have yes, to sir. go back and we would have to have public hearings and we would have to go back and make an amendment to that zoning ordinance to allow you to be able to do that. And that, that's a long process, and basically, if you look at what it says, it doesn't actually say in the ordinance you can't you have to replace it with a double wide. It says a class A manufactured home. Uh huh. And and I would what I would suggest for you to do, and since you're out looking at homes and you've got approved for some loans. What I would suggest, and we'll open this up for other suggestions, is to look for a, a home that has Class A manufactured homes on it. And those are not always double wise. Those are sometimes, they, they have more efficient, smaller homes mm -hmm. that are similar to, similar, to similar to that that you could put in there. And the zoning requirements just, like I said, it doesn't have doesn't say have to say double wide. It just has to say class A manufacturer home. Uh huh. And, and what I would do if I were you, I would look for something that says class A because if we were to go back and give you, we were to say, okay, you can do this, then what actually happens is we've had a number of people through the years that have approached this board that have wanted to do that. And the board has been pretty consistent of upholding that zoning ordinance and not changing that or not allowing that. Also, yeah, also, one thing, too, um, it's a half-acre lot. Uh -huh. And in the ETJ, the requirement is a one-acre lot. Uh, so you might want, do you have some family land close by that? The family like land is there, but it's not usable for that. Okay. Well, even so if she, it was just a part of that track, if you added a half an acre to your half acre, mm -hmm. even if it weren't, that would be nice. even if it weren't being used, you would still have that in the one acre requirement. Uh -huh. So if, if I were you, 
I think Tammy's done a little bit of research on Class A manufactured homes. Uh huh. And they are actually, you can find some really good deals on them without them being a double wide or a huge module. Mm -hmm. You can find something smaller that may be right around that same price of the single wide. Um, with all due respect, we have been looking since 2017 and given the nature of the funding on disability, they're on a fixed income. So when they're running looking for these homes, it takes gas. Right. And by the time they add up all this money for gas, you know, it takes from them the housing. That's why I came and said it's a hardship on them to try and go do something different from what we have now. And I worked really hard to get this done. So if we need to go back and get it rezoned, I'm willing to go back and get it rezoned. I'm willing to do what we got to do to so that they can get into a home. Yeah, what I'm saying, though, if we go back and, and this work, the board will decide, but if we go back and open up for single wise, we go back and redo that zoning ordinance to allow single wise, then... I don't think that's what this board wants to do is have single wise all over town, you know, like we used we used to have years ago. So it's it's either all or nothing. You see what I'm saying? I understand and, that. And I we don't have I I wish, I really wish that we had the flexibility to be able to give you an exception to be able to do that. But but legally I don't think we can do that. We we have to uphold the North Carolina statutes, and I, I don't think we're allowed to do that. But one thing we can do, and like I said, with the Class A manufactured home, we can offer you some different options uh, of things that, that you might be able to do. I understand your hardship, but I don't. You know, I don't. I I want to um, get it where we come back before the board. Because we need to do something. We have property over there that we can't use. No, ma'am, you can't use it. We can you use it, but we can't just, afford to use it yeah. in the way that you're saying that we can use it. Right. She's 90 years old. We are lucky that we even got her approval in her name for her age. I, I, I totally understand. I, I get that. And you can't compare other people coming in here saying that we want to put a single wide down compared to us. We are individual people, and you have to look at our situation as unique and individual. Now, I don't know what they had going on, and that's not any of my business. But what is my business is my mother and my sister who is homeless. Right, right. I understand your situation. What I was saying is, in reference to that, is if we... Have you tried that? We have exhausted that as well. The apartments that are income-based, because of her age, she was approved. But the problem is they're not going to let her come in. Right. And she cannot stay by herself. Right. right. Now, that's the issue that we ran into with that. Now, we did try. We tried Section 8. We tried the uh, apartments up here behind Bojangles mm -hmm. and the apartments in Troy. We exhausted it. We did everything we could do before we came before this board. Right. Okay. Uh, question, comment, suggestion? Mm -hmm. Don't really know. Yeah, Any more I options? I can keep than... checking and see. Come up with something. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sir, well, I'll just say this, sir. Yes, um, we have up until November to close on this loan, and if we can't, put the trailer out there on our property that still leaves us homeless because of the income that we're on and stuff. Right, right. I, I understand that. Get What's that? We, we get yeah, and we couldn't get it rezoned by November. That's, yeah, that would be. Mayor Hearn and, and Ms. Kellis, the property that you own now, just to clarify what I think I heard, is a half acre lot. First thing to do anything, we've got to have an acre lot. Right. Well, no. Well, yeah, it, it does have to be one acre. Yeah. Okay. So even if we you said there's property out there, man. Uh -huh. Is there property that you have access to 
the proper the half acre you have is it adjoining it where you could make it an acre the thing is even though you wouldn't be just so you